Four fires still burning along the Front Range, three of them still growing. The largest is the Alexander fire that's burning in Larimer County has been since Monday. Just last hour, we learned there that at least two dozen structures have been damaged, some of them destroyed. We're continuing our team coverage tonight with new de details on each of those fires, the other three being the Quarry Fire in Jefferson County, the Stone Canyon Fire in Boulder County, and the Lakeshore Fire also in Boulder County. We want to start with our Kelly Rinke, who was at the news conference in Loveland this afternoon when they talked about the damage caused by the Alexander fire. And Kelly, officials say those structures damaged are in the immediate area of Palisade Mountain Drive and Snowtop Drive in Drake. Yeah, Kim and Tom, just to give you an idea of where we are, we are east of that fire line. Most of our view this afternoon has been of that haze of smoke. Behind this ridge is where we find ranches and neighborhoods, including the one where firefighters found about two dozen damaged structures. Fire crews say that doesn't necessarily mean two dozen homes. That number also includes smaller structures on a property. Damage assessment teams will go to that area at Palisade Mountain Drive and Snow Top Drive tomorrow to learn which homeowners they need to connect with. At at this point, the containment of this fire is at 0% according to fire officials this afternoon. Crews say right now the areas of Storm Mountain and Cedar Park are the most threatened by the flames. There are so many resources in this rugged terrain in the sky and on the ground, including hotshot crews at the fire line. It allows them to work more autonomously and it also allows us to, um, you know, for lack of a better term, give them a longer leash. They have the experience and the training and the expertise to let them go out there and take um, the initiative. A dude ranch west of Loveland, Sylvan Dale Ranch, is in the mandatory evacuation zone. On Monday, staff and volunteers helped move more than 50 horses to another property about two miles away. Two horses were seriously injured on the drive over, fell through the floorboard of a trailer. At one point, there was concern they had to be put down, but they had surgery and thankfully will be okay. Sylvan Dale Ranch has been under threat of wildfire before. They evacuated back in 2020 during the Cameron Peak fire. Those guys, uh, you know, it affects their, their primary revenue is lodging and horseback rides and activities from guests. So uh, when they're unable to get people at the ranch to stay and ride horses, it, it hits their bottom line pretty hard. This fire has burned more than 8,000 acres since Monday. Uh, more than 5,000 people are under a mandatory evacuation order, but fire officials say those orders are fluid at this point and they may change in the coming days. Live in Lo Loveland, I'm Kelly Rinke, 9 News. Thanks, Kelly. We turn now to the Cory Fire burning in the southwest metro area. That started on Tuesday night. Four firefighters suffered from heat exhaustion. One of them also suffered a seizure as well. Well, now we're going to get to our Lauren Scafidi, who is joining us from that fire. And uh, Lauren, they are throwing everything at that today. Yeah, Kim, they really are, including these helicopters. We've seen them alternate back and forth, coming down into the water, picking some up and then dropping it on the fire. That is visibly calmer today, a lot less smoke than yesterday. Still, the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office says they have a long battle ahead of them. The Sheriff's Office is so thankful for the 155 firefighters on the ground today, double the amount of yesterday. They say the air support is huge, but how they beat this fire is with boots on the ground. Still no structures lost. The closest the fire is to a home is a quarter mile away. Deer Creek Mesa, Sampson, Maxwell, McKinney Ranch, Murphy Gulch, and Custer are all under a mandatory evacuation. Silver Ranch, Silver Ranch South, Olman Park, Hilldale Pines, and West Ranch are under a pre-vac. Pre the shelter is set up at Dakota Ridge High School. As plenty of people watch the fire swallow up hundreds of acres of land, one neighbor who evacuated from McKinney Ranch told me he just couldn't stomach to watch it. We think it's too miserable for us to be watching. It's not, we don't want to be spectators on our own misery, you know, or anybody uh, else's misery. on anybody else's misery. Looks like that helicopter is about to take up off of the water and back into the foothills. The Jefferson County Sheriff's Office doesn't know when they can let people into their homes yet. They say if you do get back to your house once this is lifted and you see some furniture disappearing or maybe a trench dug up around your home, not to worry. They're just doing some work ahead of the fire, getting any closer to those homes. Live in Jefferson County, Lauren Scafidi, 9 News. All right. Thank you, Lauren. They're making progress. Now we turn to Boulder County where the crews continue to work on two fires there. The larger one, of course, the Stone Canyon fire north of Lyons. That's burned more than 1,500 acres. Firefighters now claim 20% containment. 
That is a fire, though, that's already killed one person and damaged at least five structures. Some good news today. The Steamboat Valley and Stone Canyon neighborhoods were given the all clear this afternoon. And good news about that other fire in Boulder County, the Lakeshore Fire. It broke out near Gross Reservoir yesterday afternoon. About this time, fire managers say they're still in the mopping up stage today. It did burn seven acres. Two structures were damaged, including one home that looked like it was lost. Sheriff's investigators say it was human caused. It was accidental. They're waiting for more details. Several Front Range counties now have stage two fire restrictions. The biggest change for stage two, that means no campfires at all, not even in a fire pit. So you want to make sure that you check your county's fire restrictions and make sure you're careful as well. It only takes a second to notice how much smoke is in our air. This is the look from the top of the Four Seasons in downtown Denver. It has been thick up and down the Front Range over the past few days. But so far, there are at least two big events that are still going on, like the Guster concert at Red Rocks tonight. That's only 10 miles from the Quarry Fire. And the Niwot Summer Concert Series, not too far from the Stone Canyon Fire, is still on as of now.